This is Jeff Mishevsky of the IBM Corporation, and in this demo we're going to be looking at using inst IBM Installation Manager to install WebSphere Application Server and IHS from a local repository, that is one downloaded from zip files from the beta website, and combined in a way we'll show you how to do in the process. First we set up a location where we're going to put the new repository. I've got an empty directory service for, except for IHS and WAS subdirectories, where I'll put the directory contents. And out in service 3, I've downloaded all the files from the beta website. The beta.waz.repo, two files, make up a WAS repository. And IHS.repo makes up the IBM HTTP server. So we take the first of the two WebSphere application server zips. We unzip it into service 4 slash WAS with an unzip utility from the BPX Tools and Toys page. And that goes by for a bit. Then we go ahead and unzip the second file into the same location. Now when we look at what's left, we actually have things that are kind of in disk images, in disk 1 and disk 2. The repository.config and the other files make up a proper installation manager repository. Now we go sideways in the IHS directory, and we unzip the IBM HTTP server repository, again out of, a, out of beta 3. And this is another zip file that we downloaded from the downloads page of the WASV8 beta website. This repository would be smaller, but actually in this beta form it includes all of the different platform versions of IHS. And again, an installation manager repository, this time for IBM HTTP server. Now if we go upwards, there's one more file here, repository.config, to explain. Now normally, if we were running IMCL install at this point, to point to the WAS repository, say, we could point to, sorry, to the IHS repository, we could point to dash repository slash service for slash IHS or service for slash WAS to get the particular one for our product. But the repository config file actually knits those two together. Since it's in ASCII, we need to convert it to EBCDIC with a local utility of your choice, whatever you use on your system. Now this is a trick which is optional, but which you can certainly use with Installation Manager. Here we've declared a composite repository in Service 4 to consist of its subdirectory repositories in WAS and IHS. So whenever you point to Service 4 as a repository, you'll transparently get those two sub-repositories. So I convert it back to ASCII. And now if I say repository slash service 4, Installation Manager will appear to see one repository containing both of those two products. And this is useful no matter what the source of the original product repositories are. So let's go do an install for these two products. We're running an installation manager previously set up with the default locations running under a super user, that is with install C. So first I'm going to install the WebSphere application server product, and there's the offering ID. I'm going to indicate that I've accepted the license terms. And I also need to give the name of a package group that I'm going to be creating for this installation. I need to specify the installation directory or the place for the, where the WebSphere application server code will be laid down as part of the install. And I've already set up these directories. 
I need to point to the shared resources location where Installation Manager will cache its temporary downloaded files, if any, or files moved over from the repository. And finally, I specify the repository pointing to Service 4, which is where that composite file lives and declares the repositories underneath it. They don't actually have to live underneath it. They could be in, in other locations entirely. But then the install runs to completion. And when I look in the installation directory, I should see a copy, a copy of the WAS V8 product for ZOS. And there it is. Now, without changing directories out of Eclipse tools, we're going to go ahead and install the IBM HTTP server. So I put in the offering name for that. I change the package group name since the package group goes with the install location. And I change the install location as well. The results of trying to install IHS and WebSphere into the same directory on top of one of each other would probably not be felicitous. I specify the repository. Note that I don't need to specify shared resources directory. Once that's set by the first install, it's uh, persistent. And this install runs much faster because it's a smaller product. Now we can look in the directory and see the web server we just installed. And two useful commands at this point. One of them is list installed packages which simply asks Installation Manager what products are installed. And here we see three package groups with their names in parentheses. The one at the very top is IBM Installation Manager itself. The second one is Webster Application Server. The third is IHS with the install locations of each under the parenthesized name. We can also list the available packages, that is the packages that are in the repository or repositories to be installed. And I add features so that I can see the list of optional features which we talked about in a previous demonstration video. Now we see one repository at Service 4 with two packages in it and those optional features.